Hey folks, it's Pyrepolar, and today I'll be doing a redstone tutorial of how to break bedrock. Now before I begin, I want to tell you all not to click away, because this is one of the only legit working tutorials out there. Yes, I know there are so many others that go like, oh, you just need to do this, do this, it's so creative, but not this one. This one is legit. As you can see, I am in survival, and this is how you do it. Also, before I begin, sorry, I just, sorry, sorry, I just need to say that I'm quite sorry again for being away from my channel. I have been a bit inactive, I've been doing intros with people, and I've been making stuff in Minecraft, but that doesn't excuse it. I'm sorry, and I will hopefully be getting back to being, having like videos at least probably, I'm not guaranteeing it, but maybe having videos once a week in probably around three weeks, because that is probably maybe when I'm getting my new computer. I don't know. Anyway, so let's crack on with this tutorial. So, to break bedrock, you need to um, construct a little redstone circuit that I have created myself. I invented it called a redstone cage. Now the redstone cage is a, a, it's kind of hard to explain, is a redstone gate sort of thing, like a logic gate, that significantly weakens bedrock. That is its purpose because as you know bedrock cannot be broken unless, I don't know, this, this will teach you how to break bedrock. I'm sorry I'm rambling a bit aren't I? Anyway so bedrock cannot be broken but if you use a redstone cage and significantly power the bedrock enough you can actually break the bedrock with a diamond pick as you can see I've got here so anyway I'll get on with this tutorial so first what you need to do is place redstone blocks on all four corners of the bedrock like so and then you need to do that again on the other on the corners of the corners so yeah I have a little list down in the description of all the um, pieces what that you need to actually destroy bedrock anyway um, then you need to put comparators here 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 and here on all four sides of the bedrock so you can see I'll just step back so you can have a little look so this is what you've got and then you need to turn these press this I don't know why it, this works I tried it without this working without um I think it's subtraction mode and it didn't work so well so those are on then you need to get redstone torches put one here one here these will instantly um turn off because that's just what they do they're being powered by the redstone block behind them but no matter they are s they you are you do need them for the tutorial but they don't really they're not very that significant <laughs> for the tutorial to break bedrock and then you need to put them here 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 and here so there you go this is the first part of the redstone cage done now you need to put repeaters in a clockwise fashion sorry I was about to do anti-clockwise here and set up to four ticks because otherwise it won't work set it up to four ticks again whoopsies Sorry, I'm lagging a bit. This is why I need a new computer because I'm lagging a bit. Set to four ticks again, and finally set this one up to four ticks. Now you need to put a lever on top of the bedrock. You don't need to pull this yet, otherwise it won't work. And then you need to put redstone connecting it like this, as such, like that, and go around in a circle. Ooh, ooh, damn it. Uh, here, here, here. And you can see it's being powered. So this requires 44 redstone, uh, 4 comparators, 12 redstone torches, and 8 redstone blocks. That's, that's, a, that's a fair bit of redstone. Not a lot, but a fair bit. Then you need to do that si similar pattern on all sides. Oh, I think I might be one short of redstone, I'm not sure. Let me do that. Then you do that. And oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Sully mode, you need to do that as well there. I completely forgot that. So, uh, hang on. And there. So this is the redstone cage done. This is how you are going to break your bedrock. Firstly, you need to flick the switch, 
that will turn these comparators on. That means that this block here is powered because they are um, checking the bedrock. Comparing it, you can't really say comparing it, but anyway, that means the bedrock is powered. That means it is in a weak state due to the redstone gate. Uh, pff, redstone gate, the redstone cage. That means that it can now be broken with a diamond pickaxe. Okay, it. I don't know why for some reason, but it lowers its resistance um, down to obsidian. So it's probably a glitch. Mojang might have to fix it. I don't know. Anyway, so let's get to work. You'll see it working. Yep, 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 we're breaking it, 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 we're breaking it. And boom, there you have it, bedrock. As you can see, it is in my inventory. I have successfully broken bedrock and have it in my inventory. I can place it again, although without the redstone cage, you cannot break it again, which is strange, I don't know why, like, look. Can't break it. So, yeah. So, I hope you all have enjoyed that tutorial. It took me a while to figure out the redstone cage. Um, yes, I do consider myself an amateur settling. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm not really that much. So, yeah. So, I'll list probably all the components of it down in the description below. I'll even probably, um, I don't know. No, I'll just like say down to the basic, like how much redstone ore you're going to need to mine or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, folks, I hope you all have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, there's a 50% chance that your bedrock will break five times faster. I'm joking, that's not actually true. But if you subscribe, that chance is doubled. Jo yet again, joking. <laughs> anyway, all good things must come to an end. So I bid you farewell. Until the next time, Pyropola out. <laughs>